Good morning. Today we're heading up through Oakland and ultimately to uh, the San Bernardino National Forest. Uh, my goal pretty much for today is to do uh, some location scouting for future camp videos. And primarily I'm going to be focusing up towards the Hart Bar Campground and the uh, Coon Creek Yellow Post site. Let's, uh, let's look at this picnic area down here. Oh wow, kind of unsafe and sketch, but hey, I guess it works. Definitely hear a lot more water now. Looks like the trail kind of ends there. Beautiful area, but a lot of people around. Probably would be a lot more crowded if the temperature was higher too. Actually. Just that little uh, hike down on the river did me in a little bit. Sorry, we'll continue though. We got still got a while to go until we get to uh, our destination. We're coming up on the road that we need to get off on, which is uh, shared with the Hart Bar Campground. Then beyond the campground, it turns into the Forest Road. Let's see how this goes. Oh, oh, oh. First bump. Oh, these yellow post sites really aren't too far from, uh, from Heart Bar either. It's like that was one, two, three, and four for Coon Creek. Okay, here we go. Here's yellow post 15. Oh, nice, nice. I believe it goes up to 17. When driving roads like this, you really have to watch where you're placing your tires though, because even though I have uh, all terrains, it just takes one sharp rock and that will put it into it really fast and uh, ruin your day. Yellow post 16. I don't see anybody up here. Let me, let's drive in the site. Oh yeah. Looks like it's got a place for uh, hammock probably over here yeah that definitely looks like the ideal width right there under a nice shade the thing about these yellow post sites is they're pretty big too so 
you can spread out or if you have a larger group camping uh, usually won't end up being a problem but you do have very limited amenities out here I mean you're only gonna have a picnic table fire pit and pretty much whatever else you bring with you there's no water there's no pit toilets so you have to make sure that you're prepared for that just the advantage of uh, of these sites is they're just so much more remote and less people around more quiet and uh, more beautiful like I don't even know if you're allowed to even use the fire pits out here it looks like people do but I see oh what's this yeah there's probably fire restrictions out here so you better be prepared for that just always check the uh, check the fire restrictions and if you're out here during cooler times and you need it for heat well you're gonna probably need to bring a propane heater um, if you really want the campfire aesthetic bring a propane fire pit so one more yellow post site further up the road so we'll keep going and we'll see what that looks like actually this looks like the other yellow post site but it's not very clearly marked Yeah, this is a uh, number 17, but it has a different sign. So it wasn't really visible from the main road, but this looks pretty good too. Probably more shade. There's definitely some trees to use for a hammock. Yeah, see this part's a little sketchy right here for the entrance. It's got some pretty big rocks. Like you need some high clearance, like a truck to do this. What an incredible view. All right, so we made it to one, one and oh nine. And I guess we'll see how this goes. The gate is open, which is good. Okay, this is one and oh nine, but it says road closed. But is it? I mean, I think... I don't know. I mean, it looks like it's freshly bladed. Doesn't seem very close to me. Unless there's a washout further down or something, but... That wouldn't really make much sense. We haven't had any rain or significant snow lately. Not bad so far. That looks can be deceiving though. And it's really weird that they still had that road, road closed sign up. It's not like they're going to be working on it on a Sunday either. So it doesn't make sense. But maybe it's a more do so at your own risk type thing. Oh, sweet. There's some water flowing. <laughs> Not a lot. Kind of nice to put the concrete in there. It prevents it from getting all rutted out and going deeper. It seems like people probably camp over here too. I'm uh, kind of on the north side of where the uh, where the Bear Creek and Santa Ana River meet. This right here is actually just the Bear Creek.
and this area can be fished. Just so people know, Bear Creek actually is the outflow from, from Big Bear Lake. I'm actually surprised that there's this much water flowing because uh, considering the drought that we're having, uh, the lake level at Big Bear is actually significantly lower than normal uh, to the point where people that own property on the lake or the marinas like they they've had to like relocate all their docks or boats um, they're complete like areas where I fished before that are just like dry <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try to hike upstream a little bit and we'll see if there's any good spots over there Kind of pulls up right there. I actually really love stream and creek fishing because you kind of have to you have to explore around a little bit and you have to find like these little pools of water where fish will actually be in. So, you know, fish aren't, aren't going down the rapids. Well, they will, but they're not going to bite in those areas. But if you find a pool that's kind of like this, where the water's more still, but it's deep enough, you absolutely could catch fish in here. Really pretty down here too, though. So there's this nice little camp area next to the Santa Ana River. I'm going to take a quick walk down to see what the river looks like. I'd, uh, I'd get closer, but unfortunately it's too grown in, but very beautiful. And I think on that note, it's probably time for me to start heading back. I decided to take a uh, road up through Pine Zanita instead of just glass road like before. It's actually really pretty through here. Almost up to Highway 38 now. Really glad I chose to go this way instead. A lot more interesting. there oh yeah okay interesting so that put us back on highway 38 right next to Angeles Oaks so I guess in theory instead of taking glass road to 1N09, you can uh, go down that middle control road. Looks like it has to be like a, a fire road or something. Because it's wide, wide enough for like uh, a 
fire equipment to get through, so. Now I'm just gonna head down the mountain.